Hey, what's up, everyone? It's me, Stephen, with Open Door Ministries. Welcome to the word of the day. That word of the day for you guys today, hopefully you can wear it. Hopefully you can feel this word today is walking on water. The Lord wants you to walk on water. He wants me to walk on water. But in order for that to happen, there's certain things that need to take place within our mind, our heart, our spirit, our soul, within our life. So, th so what we see as impossible will be made reality. How does that happen? Well, if you look in the book of Matthew, okay, chapter 14, verse 25, we can read about a story of Jesus coming towards the disciples. They didn't know it was Jesus at first because there was wind blowing all over the place. There was waves crashing down. They were in a storm at after midnight, right? They were, it, it was already dark outside. And all of a sudden they, they're, they find themselves in a storm they thought they were going to lose their lives and then all of a sudden the bible said that they saw a ghost on the sea walking on the sea they didn't know it was jesus and so they defined jesus as a ghost but when jesus got closer you see how they were in that dark moment in an impossible situation how the lord likes to show up in our areas where things are pos are impossible I just love when I'm faced when we're faced against things that are impossible because how would the Lord show himself strong in the areas of our in certain areas of our life if they weren't made possible, right? God salivates, he loves, he longs to show himself strong in our life. And the only way he's able to do that is if we learn how to how to embrace our dark moments, no matter what's up against you, no matter what, who says what, no matter who does what, no matter how many bills you are in debt with, I don't care what's going on in your life. Those are dark moments that we give over to the Lord because he likes to show up. He likes to show himself strong. He likes to show himself as the almighty God in our life. And that's the same thing that the Lord did while walking on the sea, headed towards the disciples. They thought he was a ghost. Peter was like, well, wait a minute. That looks like Jesus, right? And so he said, Jesus, is it you? And Jesus said, it is I. Be not afraid, for it is I. And then he said, okay, if it is you, bid me to come. This is where he's getting excited, right? The Lord shows up in our situations, but we have to be calm enough in our spirit and in our mind to even know when he's showing up in our situation, right? And so Jesus said, come Peter. So Peter's miracle began when he started walking on water in an impossible situation, in a dark situation. He received his miracle. The disciples received their miracle through Peter by walking on water in a dark situation how many miracles are you receiving for other people connected to you by you walking on water in your dark situation but the key is is that we cannot do we cannot come out of these seasons and out of our dark moments without jesus first showing up and then us having the audacity to say lord jesus what do you want me to do with this and then he say come you have to have a word from the Lord, because if Peter didn't have a word from the Lord, when the Lord said to Peter, come, Peter would have sank as soon as he tried to step out of the boat on his own works and merit without having a word of the Lord, he would have sank. And the Lord would have to run and dig him out. I mean, and, uh, help him from uh, keep him up from drowning. Right. It's the same with us. We try to do things. We try to enforce. things. We try to, we try to do the things of the Lord. But the Lord hasn't given us a word on what to do with certain situations, right? And so then we wonder why certain things are not materializing or coming to pass or why we're in a season longer than we know we should be, right? It's because we have not got a word from the Lord because we're busy. We're doing things our way. Peter started to walk on water. And here's the catch. He started to look at everything going on around him. He started to say, oh, yeah, I forgot. I'm We're in a thunderstorm, right? And he became a once he noticed that again and the bible says once he became afraid meaning taking his eyes off jesus christ and looking at everything all the carnal things that are going on around him all the dark time all the dark moments going on around him um he started to drown the bible oh. says and jesus had to help him from that do not focus on other things around you that doesn't pertain to the lord jesus everything that comes up against you that may diminish your faith that is a threat to your faith do not focus on that because the day you focus on that will be the day that you won't even be here, be able to hear the Lord in your life to say, come.
right? You want to set yourself, you want to set your face like Flint, right? You want to set, you want to keep your eyes on the Lord Jesus. If Jesus is the one we serve, we have to keep our eyes on Jesus, but not just Jesus. We, we have to keep our lives, our, I mean, our mind focused on our life. Jesus is our life. He's our hope. He's our strength. Everything we need is in him. So if we keep our eyes focused on him, yes, even in the dark times. Well, Stephen, you don't understand. I lost most of my family members during COVID and all. I get it. I get it. I lost family members as well. I've been through, oh, I should be dead today, right? And if I didn't believe God for those dark moments, I would not be alive. I guarantee you, I would not be alive today. So I'm not teaching you something. I'm not sharing something with you that I had not had to walk through myself. Okay, so believe the Lord in your dark moments. All right. And I want to leave you with this Genesis chapter one, the first three verses. It says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was up without form and void and darkness with the face of the deep. Right. Meaning the earth was dark when God spoke life into it. The earth was chaotic. Darkness means chaos. Right. In Hebrew it means tohu and bohu. Well, without form and void means tohu and bohu. Tohu means chaos. Bohu is just like chaos, right? So God took chaos and spoke life into it and spoke life into it. So your dark moments may be chaotic, right? It may be tohu and bohu, but let God speak life into it, okay? And also let him speak light into your dark situation. I guarantee if you do that, you will learn you will know things about the lord that you thought you would never be able to have the opportunities to know of and you will love him even more today than you did yesterday god bless you and i see you in the next video take care